Hey guys, in this video we're going to be doing some simple statistical operations on arrays and matrices. Let's create our notebook. Let's call it stats or simple stats. Import numpy as np and um, let's create um, a random array so arr equals np dot random dot rand n and let's tell it to be like for example 4 by 4 so this will create a 4 by 4 matrix of random elements right uh, i think we've seen that before so one thing we can do here is um, we can compute the sum of these element of the elements of the array. So I can say arr dot, and then if I go sum sum, so it'll sum all the elements, the overall sum. Uh, we can uh, find the mean, for example. We can find the standard deviation. STD, and we can find the variance. Okay. Okay. Hope that makes sense. Very nice and easy. Um, one uh, one other powerful uh, function in NumPy is the where function or the where statement, where we have uh, conditionals, right? And this is clear by having an example. Yeah, the where function is very powerful. So it's np it's inside numpy dot where if we do shift tab and if we'd like to read that, it's basically uh, running a conditional statement. So what it says here is it returns elements either so as you can see here it's a where condition and then we pass it x and y. So we pass it a condition and we pass it two values. What it does is if the condition is true, if the condition is met, it returns x, otherwise it returns y. Okay? So if only the condition is given, it will return uh, non-zero. But if you see the parameters here, it'll say the condition is a like Boolean statement. When true, yield x, otherwise yield y. So return y. What we can do here is for our ARR, what we can do is let's say is uh, the condition is ARR less than zero, so it will go through ARR element by element, and it will check if that element, if it's less than zero, then return let's say zero. Otherwise, just return the element itself. I hope that makes sense. This is the condition that we saw in the doc string in the documentation, and then here the value that it will return if the condition is true. Otherwise, if the condition is not true, then return this, right? Which is, in our case, the element itself. If we run that, if you notice here, this element is not less than zero, so it will return, return, the, return the element itself. This element is less than zero, so mm. it returns mm. zero. This is what mm. we did here. We've told it uh, that if ARR is less than zero, then return zero. Otherwise, return the element itself. Quite powerful, although... It's very short, and this is one aspect of it being powerful, but it's very expressive as well. Uh, what else can we have here? Let's have a look at sorting the array. So arr dot tab. We have sort. Yes, we do have sort. If we sort the array, now we notice the array has been sorted. Right. This is our array. And it'll it'll do it because this is a multi-dimensional array. It'll do it in a way such that um, su su such that each subarray is sorted uh, on its own. So the first subarray has been sorted from smallest to largest. The second subarray has been uh, sorted from smallest to largest, and so on and so forth. So array uh, sort is a built-in function in um, in NumPy, and you notice 
it does it in place so if you run it the actual array will be uh, sorted uh, it will not make a new copy of the array uh, what else can we have a look at I think we're fine so let's stop here and continue uh, in the next video by um, doing uh, a little bit more on using the previous functions and maybe a bit more in a big Python script right so let's stop here and I'll see you in the next video